Meghan Markle's dad is living as a total recluse because he hates the attention her romance has caused. While the eyes of the world are on his daughter, Meghan Markle's father prefers to remain as far away from the limelight as possible. In fact, other than a trusted few close family members, no one even knows where Thomas Markle SR actually is, apart from somewhere in Mexico. Ever since his daughter confided in him 16 months ago that she was dating Prince Harry, he has been conspicuous by his absence, living a quiet, modest existence in rented homes, while he gets by on his £1,307 monthly pension, driving around in an old battered blue Chrysler PT Cruiser, his new family to be is one of the richest and most powerful in the world. His choice to live such a solitary life means Harry has still not met his future father-in-law, the 73-year-old, called a total recluse by his son Thomas Jr., had been living out his retirement in Rosarito Beach on Mexico's Baja California Peninsula. But the houses the dad of three ones called home now sit vacant, as he recently moved on, determined to avoid any chance of public attention. Friends of the Emmy-winning lighting director, who devoted his life to his daughter once she was born, say Thomas is so desperate to stay hidden, the first time the world will probably see him is on their wedding day. Thomas's eldest daughter Samantha Grant says he does intend to attend the ceremony at St. George's Chapel, in Windsor Castle, in May, despite problems with a knee. In comparison to her dad's disappearance, Meghan's mum Doria Ragland has often been seen out and about around her affluent Los Angeles neighborhood walking her dogs. She also attended Harry's Invictus Games, in Toronto, Canada, in September where she was pictured spending time with her future son-in-law and his bride-to-be. But while the 61-year-old is considering moving to the UK to be near her daughter, friends of Thomas say he is determined to remain shrouded in the secrecy Mexico provides. As to why he has become so keen to avoid the spotlight nobody seems to know for sure, although it may be due to the humiliation of bankruptcy. His life changed dramatically when Meghan was born in August. 1981. He was previously a 75 hours a week workaholic, but Meghan's half brother Thomas Jr., 51, said, When Meggie was born, Dad was a completely changed man. Before then, Dad's work took priority over everything, but she became his whole world. She was her daddy's princess. On his dad's recoil from public life, he said, Dad never liked the limelight, but since the news came out about Meghan and Harry, He's become a total recluse. He hates the attention Meghan's romance has brought on to him. He loves her, but hates the idea of being in the spotlight. Thomas clearly adores his daughter, previously spending a £560,000 lottery win on providing her with the best education available. And despite his move to Mexico, the pair remain very close, speaking weekly on the phone. She is one of a handful of people who know exactly where he is. Twice married Thomas declared himself bankrupt in California last year, with credit card debts of £24,180 and savings of just £160, although he was discharged from this in September. It came after four legal claims in the past 20 years for unpaid tax bills. But despite his apparent financial struggles, Thomas Jr., said he is by no means broke. He has lived in several properties in Rosarito Beach, 15 miles south of the U.S.-Mexican border. The seaside town is strung out along miles of soft sands, with Thomas choosing an ocean view property each time. One of his former homes was in Rancho del March. Resident Guillermo Marquez, 82, remembers his former neighbor well saying he stood out due to his 6 feet 3 in and 20 SD frame. Guillermo said, Tom would always keep himself to himself, but he was also very polite and would say hello. We would see him pottering around and he would often pop to Walmart or Home Depot. He didn't appear to be hiding from anyone, but where we live is very secluded. We didn't even know he had a daughter, let alone she was marrying a British prince. And lifelong friend Loretta Strausser, 76 confirmed Thomas likes to be alone. She said, Tom is very laid back and likes his life of seclusion. He doesn't like to be in the spotlight. Shortly before the engagement was announced, Thomas's retired U.S. diplomat brother Michael said his move to Rosarito was because the cost of living is better down there. Asked why he was going to such lengths to avoid being found, he said, Tom is trying to comply with the royal directive to keep a low profile.
so that's where he's coming from. He doesn't want to upset the royal family. That is a way of life Meghan will have to get to grips with herself, as well as ensuring her family don't break royal protocol. Courtiers are now said to be monitoring how close Meghan gets to Kate, as their husbands have such a close bond since the death of Diana. Rumors suggest the two princes want to ensure Camilla doesn't become Princess of Wales and even Queen instead of Princess Consort, if Princess Charles takes the throne. Meanwhile, Thomas Jr. is sure his dad wouldn't miss his daughter's big day, saying he will be the proudest man in church. As the world awaits its first glimpse of Thomas Markle, the question remains as to when Harry will get to finally meet his elusive future father-in-law.